right, guys. Welcome to the stream. I'm just hammering bam bam. What's the verb that goes along with this? Bamming, bam bamming, bam bamming. Oh, I'm bam bamming. So uh, waiting on John to show up on set. He was here earlier. I don't really know what happened to him. And uh, I think he's just probably prepping some stuff for the show. So I got this in the mail earlier this week. And it just showed up out of the blue. I had no idea who sent it to me. And uh, it was because the last week, last Monday's episode, I said, I feel like I need a Bam Bam Hammer. And then I was like, no, I don't feel like I need one. I need one. And next thing I know, it shows up in the mail. So uh, <laughs> now I have the Bam Bam Hammer. And I will wait to tell you who sent me the Bam Bam Hammer. Do you know who sent me the Bam Bam Hammer, John? I don't. I do. What? I found out. Do you want to come on up here? What are you doing? What's the question? Bam Bam. Who sent it to me? It wasn't Paul. Lynn. No, it wasn't Lynn. Paul. Nope, it wasn't Paul. Peter Charles. Nope, no, it wasn't Charles. It is a patron. It is a patron. Well, that. Oh, did Bruce. You stop that. <laughs> Bruce. Bruce. Really, Bruce did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Bruce, thank you very much for my bam bam hammer. Now everybody's really annoyed with me. It's your bam bam. It's so fun. Bam Bam Hammer, and um, she yes. me with it. Rusty G, I apologize. I know I'm babbling on and on, but that's what you do when you're all alone on camera because your show co-host hasn't shown up. I've been getting interesting stuff. To I share don't know what you're doing over there. Bam Bam. <laughs> this is when I hit things. I know, that's is why that, I'm not happy about is, you having is that. Is that so wrong? <laughs> she already hits me all the time. How is she going to hit me with that thing? Oh, there's one story. Uh, when you start telling it, just go, John P. Back Yeah. We're like, John P. Mm. Bam, bam. By the way, at earliest, <laughs> at earliest uh, we get moment, John, uh, let's get that. What do you mean there's no tea? I know. There's a whole box of tea. Yes, I'll be right here. Okay, fine. <laughs> that's what you had. It's all right. I made this for me. Right? Okay. I don't know why he thinks pumpkin spice is bad. I'm hearing something in my ear. So that would be Duran playing practical jokes. I'll put the Bam Bam Hammer away. I O M G. And I had the best apple cider um, ever in New York. So we went to this uh, restaurant called Cozy, C-O-Z-I. -Z uh, it's like a Panera C -O -S -I. Bread. Oh, Cozy, yeah, C-O-S-I. It's like a little Panera Bread type yeah, it is. Of, of shop. Although they would probably say Panera Bread's like Cozy. Yeah, probably. But that had, we tried like three different things we totally picked out and everything was amazing. Really, really good. I had the um, pesto chicken panini. Yeah. Oh, it had sun-dried tomato paste or whatever they call it inside with the pesto and the chicken and the cheese. It, I, I'm dreaming about that. I've got to go find me a cozy. Uh, I don't know. Do we have a cozy around here? The lobster I have on no the, idea. Uh, Somebody table. put him there and I didn't move him. Let's see if we have a cozy around here, John. You said him? I'm sorry, her, she. she, sorry. I was distracted by food. What do you expect? Well, it's a good thing to be distracted by. Fort Worth Opera Festival. How does that come up under cozy? We're gonna get started eventually over here. Don't worry, guys. Wow, it's already 3.30? Yes, wow. we didn't even get and back. It wasn't my fault. We didn't even get back to the office. Is it this side Do we not have a cozy? This side? I am very disappointed right now. Very, very, huh? very disappointed. What's the full name of cozy? Cozy what? I know, but is there like cozy wow. kitchen, cozy 
What? Uh, I don't. Why does it have to be something beyond coasting? Because I can't find it. And so the fact that you can't find one in Dallas, Cozy. you just must be looking wrong. Restaurant. Not that it might not be one here, right? That's, that's uh, I know there used to be one in South Lake. Oh my God, no! no don't, where is my quickie? Don't do this to me. There's your bag up on the desk in my office. Okay, guys, I have a mission for you. Thank you. Everybody, that's tweet Cozy and tell them they need to open in Dallas. Because <laughs> that'll Callie work. Callie Lewis says so. I, I am sure it'll work. <laughs> Paul G says it's not 3.30, it's 4.30. Eastern? There used to be one in South Lake and it's gone apparently. Paul says, tweet who? Cozy. I don't know what their Twitter handle is. Why would I know that? Paul says, oh no, we have music again. They hate the music. What music do we have? <laughs> Is that elevator they've, music playing? Dave puts on elevator else? music, yes. No, it's just a little bit of jazz that's playing in the background. Oh, great. <laughs> well, well he says, was the doing one hard is rock. In San Antonio. <gasps> that's not very near, Ben. I can tell you from experience. I am just going to cry. Bam, bam. <laughs> Dave, can you? Can, David, hand me that thing. The big thing. No, yep. The, they're in a green plastic bag. Uh, that's uh, maybe on uh, that. Tony, everything apparently turns you into a jumper. What's up with that? Are you okay? Uh, right here. Apparently they they didn't like the hard rock, Dave, and now they don't like the uh, the jazz. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I am just I I am just passing it along. Uh, Bruce, it's inflatable. It's inflatable, but it's not really like it's got a it's it's hollow. Okay, we'll talk about that when in a minute when we get started. Oh, okay. Do we have enough time for all this stuff gonna, that you want to talk about? We're not going to have time. We're going to run out of time. What, what do you want? How do you want to structure this? We're going to run out. Well, first of all, we only have three three things in the news today, not the fourth one. So we're, we're killing number four, Dave. And we're okay. We're killing the robots, too, right? We're killing the robot section. Did you get that, Dave? Okay. We're killing the robot section. There's no robot time on today's show. Excuse me? This free uh, this robot section is awesome. Okay. That first robot, come on, dude. Okay, I don't know. I don't read the robot section oh. of the news. Oh, it's, I, I skip it's good. It in my prep. It's good. All good. Thank you, sir. Thank you, David. Yeah. Why why is he doing that stuff? I'm an intern. <laughs> right. Because the interns are occupied. Occupied. By lot. googling. Because. Uh, Yes, Pablo's Pablo I guess. Pablo has got to actually. Today, Pablo has the frustrating job of trying to keep us on time. Ha! <laughs> and <laughs> John Carter is gonna. Carter is trying to learn. This doesn't look good. What doesn't look? Carter's trying to learn how to do the live switching today. Oh, I need my Kleenex, David. Okay. Hey, how's the <sighs> There's wallet thing working out? The Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it. Actually, it's on my desk. He bring shows it, it off. Oh my God! <laughs> Today's not gonna be a regular live show, is it? At all. Are we going to break in between any of this stuff? I don't know. <laughs> we need to. So we have something to send to TV. If we want to do a different show, that's totally fine with me. I'm going to have to get one. But we should break. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> he shows that off to everybody. We're out shopping. We were in New York. He was like, hey, look at this. I'm going to have to get one because right now I'm carrying everything loose in my pocket, like all my cards, everything. They have a Geek Beat edition. What you happened to your wallet? On Kickstarter. It's, it's ripped. They do. Your new one ripped? Yeah, and I can't and I can't I can never get my cards out. Like I'm sitting there like <coughs> There's there's so just like it's going to be easier to just carry them loose. They have special Geek Beat edition ones you can get on the Kickstarter pro thing now. Right, but if I order it now, will I get it now? They're no, they're Kickstarter. See, that doesn't work for me. <laughs> but you have another one. You have a gold one. Yeah, but it only holds six gold, cards. Gold, yellow, it's the same or it's color. Eight. It only holds eight. How much you want for it? <laughs> it only that holds eight. Ten bucks? Many, Come on, he's, he's going to want more. Can you get by with only eight? I can, yeah, I can. 
Okay. Why don't you give him the gold one? No, no, no. Okay. Huh? Can, can you get by with just eight? What the? For now. What is that? Oh, Landscapers. It's going to be a weird show today. <laughs> All right. Hey, is that white balanced? Up here on my preview monitor, it looks pretty bad, but I don't know. Yeah, you don't need to worry about that. Okay. It's okay. All right, let's do this. Bam, bam. Yeah, it's impossible. I know, but John, I'm going to try. Okay, try your hardest. All right, have a good show. Bye. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> Dad? Nice. <laughs> Where is my other one of these? I don't know. Did you check your office? Uh, it was gold. Yeah, that's. I thought you had it. I have just been saying to, to give David your you gold had one. It. I, I did not have it. I only ever took this one. I don't have it. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, yep. What is this? R two D two. Oh yeah. You wrote it. I know I did. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to be void of uh, that kind of deal. Like, we weren't supposed to have to deal with this landscaper kind of stuff anymore. I don't know why they decided to do this right now. I don't know why, so why. I think I'll die. Oh, my God. Are we ready? Uh, I Serenity Rob says, it's I'm not going to see the end 40. of the show. I just know it. <laughs> I don't even think we're going to get to it end of the show, Rob. Lady A says, actually, the time on the website still says an hour. Yeah, because our web server probably still counting down and saying, like, it's going to be like. Because we didn't change over daylight savings time. Daylight savings or something. I don't know. Probably. Uh, I was born in Indiana, Evansville, to be uh, specific, and I grew up in Dallas. Uh, you were Rob. born in Evansville, Indiana? Yes, you knew that. Don't you know that? I did not know that. Yes, you did. <sighs> what hospital were you born in in Evansville, Indiana? I have no idea. How much the did you weigh? Clinic. The free clinic. The home. free clinic. Uh, I was born at home. The back of a in a bathtub. How much did you weigh when you were born? No idea. You don't have any idea how much you weighed when you were born? Well, no. Pounds, you don't even. Ounces. They were gonna name her Ouch. Right. You don't even know, like, in a ballpark of how much you were weighed when you were born? I can look it up. How are you gonna look it up? Were you I have my birth certificate. You had, in your purse? <laughs> I think. In your backpack, ready? I, you know, I might have it on Evernote or you something. You know, I don't have a Wikipedia page. Yeah. Oh, I'll you want. <laughs> should I? Should but I? But if I had one. Should I have my. My uh, weight, my if, birth weight on Wikipedia. If I had a Wikipedia page, the only thing I would want on it would be <laughs> John P. was born nine pounds, six ounces. John, are you mic'd? Are you on mute? Is he coming through? No. Oh, apparently I'm muted. Can hey, you hear Zig. me Now I'm muted. Now I'm not muted. Sorry. I was looking at December today and I saw it. You might make me unmuted. How many more? We're muted. We can, nobody can hear us. You can hear us. Now we can. Okay. If you think about it. What's that? How many women in media are more powerful than Callie Lewis? A uh, lot, I'm sure. No, you say lots, I'm sure. Start naming them. Yeah, Katie Kirk's a good one, isn't she? Uh, she's at Yahoo now. 
How many women um, in media are more powerful than Callie Lewis? In fact, there are all sorts fact, of people on like. Hang on, Marissa isn't Marissa Mayer. Marissa is not Mayer in, in media. She is not in media. Diane, Diane Sawyer, Sawyer, Oprah Winfrey, Oprah, yes. Oprah, yes. Whoopi, Diane Sawyer. yeah, probably, yeah. probably. She left too. Yeah. She went to CBS and then got replaced. Mystic, Mystic wow. New Zealand said, "How many women are hotter than Ellen Callie DeGeneres. Lewis?" Not many. Ellen DeGeneres. That's Dr. A good Kiki, one. no, Monty. I love Dr. Kiki, but n no way, not not even close. I She's love Dr. Smarter. Kiki. She's but yeah, Ellen DeGeneres, yes, Ellen Taylor is. Taylor Swift. Miss well, Piggy. She, she's a singer. I don't know if you yeah, can really. Yeah, Taylor Swift is not well, in media. Even if she media was in media, I would say. different she, than just singing or singer or whatever, I guess. I would say Ms. she's. Piggy. I wouldn't necessarily say she's more powerful, but I would say oh, she's. please. Are no. you freaking kidding me? She's broken you, every record if on. If you would stop and let me finish. <laughs> I would not say she's more powerful because her sphere of influence, the people that she influences are like 12 year old girls, okay? <laughs> you influence corporate decision makers. You obviously don't have a 12 year old girl living in the house. That's right. Right. Uh, yeah. Huffington, Huffington, I mean, Huffington, what's her name, Huffington? <laughs> Ariana Huffington. I'm with you. But I listen. believe she's. She will bring down Spotify by herself. Yeah. She, she's already got like she cannot. Major Oh, who else? Who else? Because um, we're talking about it today. Maybe. Oh, well, we'll. Okay. Anyway, my point is, like, I ask people to say who is a more powerful than than Cal. Why are we talking about and this exactly? Very few. I mean, it's Leo like a Laporte. handful of things. Yeah. There are. Leo Laporte. Laporte is a more powerful woman in technology that, that, than, than That was like Cal two Lewis. handfuls worth of people who who. That's that's a good amount. <laughs> Rusty said, oh, John, you influence too, people, too, even if it's just writing on. I can't read it. The yeah. thing's not proper on the screen. I can't see it. I think it says, even if I'm writing on the coattails of Callie Lewis. Yes. Uh, today I became all-powerful because I have my new Bam Bam Hammer. That's right. Bam Bam. I'm a bad influence. That's right. I am. Who, who can you name who is a, more of a bad influence than me? Nobody. Period. In Nobody. Anywhere. Period. Anywhere. Who is a more <laughs> a bad influence Hitler than me? Mussolini? No, Hitler was not really a bad influence. He was just a bad man. He, no, I don't know. Well, he, I, he influenced he an entire. No, SS. no, 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 no. Yeah, because they did what he said. What? No, that's not influence. Oh yeah, they didn't do it. They were taking showers. That's with the, not the water. influence. Okay, what is it that's then? That's forcing people. When you influence people, it's you make them want to do things. John, look left. What? What about her? She's not a bad influence. Uh, I said he's more influence? of a bad influence. Oh, oh. Brian bad. Brushwood. Brian Bush Brushwood is a good bad influence. Yeah, you tried to stick a rail up, a nail up your nose. Yeah, I you would not do that. <laughs> Ugh. Howard oh. Stern a bad influence? Howard Stern, yeah. bad influence. You're right. You're right. He is a bad influence. He's a good bad influence, right? Okay, but back to Hitler. He, he, he forced a certain amount of people to do things, yes. but he did influence the, his close, the... Are you sure about that? Are you kidding? Are you sure he influenced them? I think or the way Or scared them? I think the way the Hitler regime worked was you had a small group of ultra-powerful guys who got together and decided to enforce their will upon everyone else, and people are sheepish and they got in line because they didn't want it directed at them, so they would rather be the hammer than the nail. I just feel like there were a certain amount of close-knit people Are you going to compare influenced. me with Hitler? Are you telling me that you're comparing me how with was Hitler? I, how was I comparing you? Because you're going on and on about the Hitler comparison. No, I wasn't going there at all. Why, I would yes, never, you are. You're still doing it. I would oh never my. do that. Oh See, back to Hitler. <laughs> Can we talk a little bit more about Hitler? <laughs> I wasn't yeah. comparing you at all. Yes, George you are. Kai? How is he a bad influence? Hey, John, oh, about, my. Think about Osama bin Laden or whoever's at the head of that snake right now. That's right. Those guys are influences. They this are. show has taken a weird turn. This show hasn't even gotten started, ben but wants yes. I know if he gets overtime for this. <laughs> Dr. Evil? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. All right.
are we, are Tony we ready? says, talking about Hitler is simply not kosher. Aha. Aha. Who besides John T. <laughs> tells their followers to shoot themselves with real bullets? That's a good question. <laughs> Who besides me? You did do that, John. Would do that. You, you did do if that. If you don't know what we're talking about, then you are not following me on Google+. Plus. That's Diego, Beyonce, I would do anything she says to me. <laughs> uh -huh. I am like Bob and says, <laughs> I'm like Les, Lex Luthor with less hair. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that was possible. Michael but yeah. Bay, bad influence, far worse than you are, John. Maybe so. Kim Kardashian, bad influence. Rusty said we all bought bad parking cards, right? See? That's true. You see that? That is true. All right, can we get this thing started? <laughs> oh my God. So, uh, Jason, Alden, uh, Jason Alden, who's like one of the biggest country stars out here in Radiohead, also announced yesterday that they're going to step up. Wow. They've got a bunch of like medium level Bradley Hill, let's say, medium sized country star. Um, all of them is considering it. That really sucks because my, 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 my life is on Spotify. Well, Yep, not anymore. We'll not talk about that. And, and, and when the, you know, the, the CEO of Spotify comes out and says that, that you know, Taylor Swift would have earned $6 million last year, and then her manager came out and said, no, it was worth $11 million. Right, I saw that. So you've got the largest artist in the world spending up. And, and, and her move, I, I'm told, I think it's because I don't care how rich she is. No, it's and not about that. It's she, about what's if fair. She's, if she's not generating sales because people right. buy the record, she's like, screw you, I'll generate yeah. my own album sales. That's right. So, and, and if you're going to lose, Yeah. So, you know, yeah, well, what'll happen is they will all band together and they'll all do it and oh, force yeah. a change. Yeah, and then, you, and then you'll lose Flacker, you'll lose Red RDO, and, and a lot of them, which yeah. is fine with me. I mean, it's not with me. Well, uh, it's because, you know. You all right, let's start this damn show. I have to go to Houston. We're an hour late. Oh, that's right. You have to drive tonight. Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. And I'm John P. On today's episode of Geek Beat R2D2, The Bird. Kung Fu Robots. The $1.75 billion Rosetta has landed. Bye bye, Taylor Swift. And Twisted Lasers. And they're not even a rock group. It all begins now. <laughs> Hey there, folks. Welcome to another edition of Geek Beat Live. It is, it is episode 154. I was just told in my ear by the magnificent Dave Curley. Is it time? Is it time yet? <sighs> Go ahead. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> I got a new bam, bam hammer today. Bam, uh, <laughs> bam, bam. Thanks, Bruce. <laughs> I think she announced, she said something about wishing she had a bam, bam hammer. I was just goofing off uh, on the Monday show last week, and uh, I don't even remember why I said it, but Dave put it in the bloopers section, like right up at the front of the Geek uh -huh. Beat Daily episode, where I said something to the effect of, I think I need a bam, bam hammer. And, and then, like, a few the days next thing later, I know is shows this up at, big package at my shows up. door with no name on it. Mind By the you. way, yeah, we didn't know anything about it. By the way, your Bam Bam hammer was crushed. It was in the mail, and it's, you it's, caught you it's like. It's full of air, it's crushed. It was crushed, and we could like, not. You know how these plastic things, sometimes if they're like squishy, yeah. and you can like kind of pop, like squeeze in the other direction, we could it not get this that. thing to undo itself. So I had to cut, I had to poke a little hole in the bottom and blow it up like it was a balloon. Yeah. <laughs> and then pop, pop and now up. And now I'm a happy girl. So thank you, Bruce Reinhardt, uh, patron and Geeky viewer, for giving yes. me my bam ham, bam bam hammer. And not thank you, Bruce. And I am going to have so much fun with this thing. She's already, she's, <laughs> I'm already jumpy because she's been beating with me, me with it incessantly. Uh, we had a great week already this week. Um, you and I went to New York. Indeed, we did. And we just we just decided to hop on a plane. It was go party to New York time for a big party. Our Adorama. friends over at Adorama 
invited us to come out to their party mm -hmm. and we're like party in new york city yes, yes please and so we went out and they were sh they, they had like a huge sale going on in store and then i'm not even allowed they, to tell you how cheap they were selling oh some things but they were ridiculous. like ridiculous and then they had a party uh with canon and adorama and they had like huge stars there uh, -huh. uh john bon jovi was there yeah. look at this fantastic i finally said his name right and a bunch of other like uh N nba players and, and photographers football stars and, and david all, bergman sports illustrated yeah, photographer all kinds of, it was a it was a serious party and sushi there was a lot of sushi mm. it was good and, anyway. Oh, you know what? Which reminds me, our friends from Adorama have given us a DJI Phantom quadcopter to give away. Yay! If you go to geekbeat.tv forward slash giveaways, you can see how to enter to win. Indeed. We will be giving it away in like a week. Like yeah, exactly. Before, maybe even on next next week's live show, but... If not, maybe even th th like thurs next Thursday or Friday, we will give it away. I don't know which it is. D don't commit to anything there, John. I'm going to be very non-committal. <laughs> By the way, speaking of... But wait, of, uh, before we move on, uh -huh. because uh, we got to meet some awesome viewers out in New York. Oh, we did. Uh, Video Hair, uh, Robert Feiner, and Anthony Quintana. We met some more, um, but we posted photos of those guys. They were awesome. That's true. So, they were. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys, for coming out. And everybody out else that we met who we didn't get your names exactly. and photos and all that stuff of. Uh, Callie oh. looks like she needs a little more light on her, doesn't she, for today's show? All right, just for the record, this thing is freaking bright, but. Look, look at this. My eyes. That's bright. This is, My eyes this are used is, to staring into uh, to lights. I'm excited because we got these new Manfrotto Spectra one by one. Those Woo, are beautiful. That is bright. That is really bright. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, ah. now we're illuminating uh, Dave, Dave Curley over there. back there. Uh, so we got these. Wow, that is going to give me a suntan. Uh, I, Take off the plastic. Uh, I do have Why some, is there plastic still, still on it? There's still some plastic brand on new. here because it's so brand new. I just have one thing to say. We're going to light the uh, trussing area over there. In fact, uh, show them, show oh, them yeah. the truss area there, uh, Pablo, because we've got it down low. Nice. See, normally Look the truss it. is hanging like 12 up. feet high. But we're doing some work on the lights. Yeah, when we get off here, I'm going nice. to go and, and that, hang That looks like a, a very zen place to be. It looks pretty cool it like does. in that picture, doesn't it? If you don't know what we're looking at, that is our big 25 foot by 25 foot by 12 foot high Psych cyclorama. Wall. Infinity wall. I and just have, have to say, that man trussing. Frodo Light is bam, bam awesome. Nice. It's bam awesome? It's bam awesome. Nice. That's my new uh, thing. The thing that I like about them, too, I don't know if you noticed, you probably didn't notice this before, but look, it has a little power <gasps> brick, and it has a place to nice. clip the power brick right in there. Nobody does that. That is brilliant. A, a power brick clips right in there. And then that is like... And then it won't like drag on this yeah, part of yeah, the cord nice. and everything. Awesome. That'd be likey. I like that. And it's attached to a new Manfrotto. <laughs> By the way, today's show, just so that you guys know. It's not going to be regular or normal. Completely or? off the rail because totally. I have so many things over here I want to show you. We have so many unboxings. We're going to be lucky if we get to any news. So <laughs> sorry. There's going to be some rambling today. But what that's else you got over there? Because we have toys. And, and of course, and we're being told trying by to Pablo, hurry on. it up, hurry it up. Ain't going to happen, Pablo. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, this thing is actually on. A tripod from Manfrotto? That's right. I'm going to take it off my tripod and show you guys because I'm the gonna, tripod. I'm just going to drink my tea over here since we're not trying to be uh, professional. Yeah, go right ahead. The tripod is super cool. Here, Pablo, come get that before I break it. Yes, uh, please. And then we'll be in trouble. Please don't break it. So oh, this, God, yeah, Pablo. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> So this is our tripod. You're like, oh, it's not a tripod. Sorry, it's a it's a light stand. It's a light stand. You guys are like, oh, that's a tripod right there. Guys, that is a the uh, mother. A, don't talk about my tripod tripods. yet. Oh, it's, I don't can't even. talk about my tripod. See it. This is my um, light stand. Why don't we? And you guys are like, well, it's a light stand. Who cares about it? You do. Here's why. I have two more of them right here, <laughs> and I have to show you how it works because it's awesome. Okay, so. The way this, these Manfrotto light stands work is they have a little clippy thing right here. I don't know if you can even see that. Uh, Dave, can we get a zoomed in shot of that or what? I don't know. Can Pablo focus? 
<laughs> there you go. You see that little thing my finger's pointing at right there? Now, you see how this one has a little hooky, here, I got it with my neck. Oh, okay. Right there, you see that little thing right there? Now, the insert A into, B. into slot B. It's, and watch, it's, now watch right here. You see right here? Right in there, there watch. Slot, bam. Portable. Now look, I love those things. I have three of these things hooked together. They're clipped together. That is so cool. Uh, can we like do more of those? Do more than three? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, there's it no. It just keeps going. It's it, infinity. How strong are you, I guess? In, or, you know, infinity I mean, number Also, days. how strong are little plastic clips? I mean, That's I, true. I imagine like, you know, you get like 10 of these things. It might, <laughs> it might get yeah. a little heavy for it. But who needs to do that? But they're so sweet. So that's what we're going to, we're going to be using our little uh, light thingies. And then before we're supposed to go to commercial break, but guess what? We're we not can, yet. We can go to commercial break and then come back and we, show that off. No, we can't do that. Okay. Well, we can't. We can't Apparently do that. Apparently we cannot I do have that. to show this off first. Okay. This is our new ginormous tripod. That thing is bigger than I also comes from Manfrotto. Now I just want to stand up beside it. You guys remember I'm six foot one. Okay. Oh, this is geez. This is, wow. and this is with the, the, the legs like, like, look how tall this thing is. That is insane. And it is sturdy. Who, who, who will use it at that height? Wait, 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 what wait, is a wait, use wait. case? That tripod is head and shoulders above the rest. Ah, oh, nice day. Head and shoulders above the other tripods. Okay, well. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, who would use it? Well, you might use it if, let's say, you went to a concert or something. There you, you go. You know, sometimes we go to or events. Maybe when we go to the White House or something, you got to right. get above everybody else. Right, I don't that's know. it. When we have parties, parties, and we do live streaming at that the parties, way we can and we get down to be over on, people. Yeah. I don't know. I do know we got to go take a break because we have to be pay, be able to pay for all these toys. Exactly. So you guys hang in there. Just wait. When we come back, we will actually do some news. Although I do. Bam. Have one more. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. That was ten minutes. <laughs> Just shy of. Ben says we need to hire Wilt Chamberlain. We need to uh, do these things. I like big tripods and I cannot lie. Yeah, we do. Uh, so after we come back, we'll do that. And then do we have anything else to show off or is that it? This and this. Okay, so then then we will go to news after that. Oh yeah, I'm telling you, this, this show is shot. Okay. Because I have lots of things I'm showing. That oh, I have fine. to show this too. Okay. This. That's fine. This. Just don't show your credit card yeah. numbers. This. Please. This. Yeah. This. Can I can I show this? Go right ahead. It's beautiful. Ozarka. Bottle of water. That would be funny. That would be cool. That would be awesome. Is that a they diet glow Dr. In the Pepper presence there, of John others. P? Vimini would like to know if that's a diet Dr. Pepper there. It is not a Diet Dr. Pepper. It is, however, a Diet <laughs> Cheer Wine, which I had never heard of, mm -hmm. but Lynn the Magnificent. <laughs> the lovely and talented. The lovely and talented Lynn the Magnificent brought some to us like a, like a year ago. He brought me some. And I tried it. I was like, what the heck is Cheer Wine? It doesn't sound like anything I would want to put in my mouth. <laughs> but I did. Thank you, lady. And a. it was delicious. So then I kept drinking it. And he brings me, he's like my pusher. He's your pusher, yes. He, he brings is. me diet cheer wine. Uh huh. John and, on wine. And he also brings me diet Mountain Dew Code Red. Code Red, yes. You know, if he we haven't had any. I know, I'll have to get another supplier. Yeah. Also, and another fence. I know I mean, Jason yeah. brings me my. Mountain Dew yeah. live wire. Right. Whenever he comes to visit, he brings the live wire. And That's Jason the orange brings, flavored. brings the Jamaican good, Me Crazy Coffee. And Jamaican Me Crazy Coffee? Mm -hmm. Wow. That orange live wire is good. That's like so You've been good. drinking my live wire? Oh, dead I curly. It. I found it laying around. Uh-huh. So, See? Yeah. That's what happened. Now I know what happened. Yeah. Mm. Like Kelly finds the vodka in the <sighs> All right. You're not supposed to talk about that while we're on air, Dave. Would I drink the Dorito-flavored Mountain Dew? My vodka habit is my vodka habit. 
No, no, Paul. I ha want nothing to do with Dorito flavored Mountain Dew. That's what are you disgusting. talking about? No, 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 no. no it's they're a meant, thing. They're I, meant to be separate. He asked if I would drink it, and I said no. What? What no, is wrong with it's, you? It's meant that nothing, nothing they can do in a lab is better than eating the Cool Ranch Dorito and then swigging the, the Mountain Dew. Yeah, those two things were not designed to go together. What okay? if? What if? I'm just saying, open your mind for just a minute and think if they were actually combined, maybe, just maybe, the taste and the flavor is exponentially greater. No, I'll tell you what. Are going to maintain the original Mountain Dew flavor and then add, say, Cool Ranch to it? Because Hang on, stop. That's the closest thing to them mixing in your mouth. Stop. I want to get off. Let me ask you this. Do you like bacon? Love bacon. Do you like Coke? Yes. How did you feel about the bacon flavored Coke we got that one time? I did time? not like it. But once she added a little vodka. <laughs> once there was a little vodka in it, she was all for it. That is my point. But it's not necessarily If you don't the like truth. Coke, bacon flavored Coke, you're not going to like Doritos flavored Mountain Dew. It's, End of but story. But maybe they like used the, a different bacon than I like. It's a bad idea like the chicken and waffle potato chips. I've never had those. Because you can eat chicken I've never and actually waffles, had chicken never and waffles. This but you're not going to have potatoes with it, right? Yeah, never. So you're adding the potato flavor to it and stuff. You ask Herwig, he gagged. This is the show that never ends. <laughs> he <laughs> on the day that you have to get out on, the on day time. That I'm supposed Let's to do be it. On the way to Houston. <laughs> like in an hour. You but need to be leaving it's five, like now. Oh yeah, it's 4:04. Whew, thank you. I thought th this thing was shush. Hey folks, would you enough with the bam hammer, okay? We don't need the bam hammer anymore. Yeah, we do. What do you guys say in the chat room? Do we need the bam hammer or Brother. not? So we have a couple of big announcements. Oh, we do? We do. Let's talk seriously for a moment. Okay. Do you think you can handle that, John? I, I don't, not really good at serious. All but. right. Shall we talk a little bit about CES coming up? We're going to CES, guys, and we're going big. So if you didn't know, we're teaming up with our friends from Mobile Nations oh, and from Tom's Guide. Yes. We're all going to be sharing the same, like, they're, they're all joining us, and we're all doing one giant broadcast from CES. And Last year, hold up, but ahead. last year, the uh, broadcast that we did from CES, you guys said was the best coverage that we have ever done from yay. CES. So yay, thank you guys for watching it. Um, and this year, we're doing it even bigger and better and lots more. Yeah. So that's exciting. But that is not all. That is not all. Because we figured if you liked coverage from CES, why not extend it? So we are teaming up with our buddies from AT&T who are doing a super sweet hackathon immediately before CES. Yes. And we are going to go there and cover the hackathon. And then from the hackathon, move right into CES. So we're going to give you even so more stuff. So all weekend, all week. So it's like it's like an entire, I guess like a full, style party. a full week of, of streaming from Geek Beach. So yeah. that's going to be awesome. It's like a full week of Vegas Geek Beat. Yes. And Dave Curley's already tired. <laughs> Just thinking okay, about it. Because we're going to give him a whole bunch of Dorito flavored Mountain Dew or exactly. something. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so that's really exciting. I'm so looking forward to all of that coverage. And you guys just keep us up to date on what you'd like to see. But guess what? Um, and that, and then that's not all either. That is not but all. But wait, folks, that's not it. There's more. more. Later. Wait, what is the thing? Now, oh, wait, CES wait, is in more. January, so we have like uh, you know less than two months actually before all that goes down. Oh, I, I need to get to work. No, and then when we get back from January from CES. We in have a couple more months, start prepping. we're preparing for NAB, the national, the NAB show, the National Association of Broadcasters show. You're not going to believe this. And by the way, this is the world's first announcement right it now. It is, right this second. This now, is it. Now, just so you know, before we get to the announcement, the NAB show is for broadcasters, as the name suggests. Yep. So it's all the gear that everybody, um, all media uses, us, uh, CNN, 
uh, ABC. The, the, the microphones Andy. we use, the earpieces we use, the cameras you're looking at us the from, the lights, lights we the, use. The trussing, the, the, the psych walls, the everything. Yeah, that's what it is. And we've done some coverage from NAB before, which, which I wasn't sure if you guys would enjoy, but I think these things are really geeky yeah. too. So we would go and we'd see stuff and we'd you know, share it out with you guys and everybody liked it. So guess what? You're not gonna believe this. We are teaming up with NAB as the official media partner for NAB 2015. It's going to be awesome. It is going to be incredible. We are going to be uh, at NAB. It's going to be the biggest thing we've ever done. It, it is indeed. Literally. And so, so we'll be doing their you know live broadcast essentially, and but you'll be able to watch well, it it's just our like live normal. Broadcast. It's our bro uh, live broadcast, but at that show. At that show, and so we're that's gonna bring very you all kinds exciting. of cool stuff. So those are those are exciting. Now. I would also like to point out mm. that some of you will remember a while back we sponsored a Kickstarter project called yes. Quickie. Yes, I do remember that. And Quickie uh, are these little keys. That they're made to go on your keychain, and they uh, have a screwdriver on the end. They have a bottle opener built into them. They have a little box cutter, rope cutter thing built yeah. in. And guess what we got? Can you see that? That is a special little Dexter branded Geek Beat Quickie. Now, for our patrons who are at the $50 and up level, yep, they they're will getting get that packages. in their care package. This will come in your care package. It will. Soon. So, but, but you can actually order it online right, right this second. Now. Uh, at geekbeat.tv slash shop. So, uh, it's yeah, 15 bucks. 15 bucks. And that includes shipping and everything. It's just 15 bucks. International, of course, has the international stipulation of extra charge. But you can shipping, get it internationally. But you can get it internationally. But yeah, inter international is. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. We get that. crushed on but, the shipping. What can we do? But, but we have had or people order internationally we have, as well. We've already, already. sold some. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of them to go. These things are awesome. Mm. I, I can't seem to find my knife, and so I've just been using the quick key everywhere, everywhere I go. We can use this for and our unboxings just, in a little, little exactly. while. Exactly. Okay. I have one more thing. No, I don't have two more. I told you this show is going to be ruined. We may have no news, but this it'll be a while. This is just a, a chat, chit chat show. I have to show you this because. <laughs> You've been loving this. I did? Okay, so a few weeks ago we unboxed this. This is called the Decadent Minimalist. This is, this is a wallet, people. You look at me crazy like I'm crazy. That's not a wallet. That's not a wallet, yeah. John P. No, it is a wallet. That's a metal frame. That is a wallet. So it's called the Decadent minimalist I used to carry a wallet and we got these in and I was like oh yeah okay yeah whatever I put it I took it with me one weekend and I was like you know what I'm going out for the day I'll just put a few credit cards in this thing right. and I'll take it with me and I I'll see if I can use it so it'll hold this particular model will hold up to eight credit cards they have slide another in. one listen for to 12. this let's see if you can hear this did you hear that little snap snaps it's a satisfying little snap so this will hold up to eight credit cards. Is it is it okay that people are seeing your Sam's Club? Yeah, membership? because there's no number on it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I chose that on purpose. So uh, you can hold up to eight credit cards in this thing, and they have. When when I did a video about it, I said I can't believe how much I love it, yes. and I'm still carrying it. I Weeks know. later, I'm still using Not it. Not only are you still carrying it, you are pulling it out at every store we walk into and talking about the fact that it is the most amazing wallet that you've ever had. It's awesome. And so, yeah. You guys can still get them on Kickstarter. And we and told the guys, we told our we told the guys, there is a Geek Beat. Dave just said in my ear, we need a Geek Beat branded one. Guess what? We told the guys on on uh, their Kickstarter project that they could they could make a Geek Beat branded one, and they did. We're not getting anything for it. No. I am telling you about this. I do not get one dime <laughs> for telling you about this. Or even if you buy a Geek Beat branded one, we're letting them do that for free. We don't get anything. But that's how much I like this, yeah. and I think you should go on Kickstarter or go to our uh, show notes. Geekbeat.tv slash live one fifty. 54. 54. 154. And uh, get a link to the Kickstarter project and get some because they're awesome. And they're making two new versions that are for you and me. One is the Cali version. Oh. Pink. It only holds. <laughs> yeah, it's pink. pink. No. The Cali <laughs> version only holds four cards. Oh. 
So when you're out and about and you just need to take a few things with you, it holds four cards. I like that. The See, I don't like I don't like purses. I don't carry purses if I can at all help it. So that would be perfect, actually, because it could probably fit in my pocket. Yeah, credit card, yeah. Uh, driver's license, maybe a couple of credit cards, driver's license, a little room for sticking some receipts in between them or yeah. whatever. And then I don't, I don't they're making lot. the John P version, which, which is like 50. No, it holds 12 cards. And a bunch of cash? Yes, because they're making a special money clip that slides in and nice. snaps in on the back. Nice. So you can have your cards and your money clip. Oh, that's awesome. That is perfect for you. It's perfect. I'm waiting for it, but anyway. When's it coming? I don't know yet. Okay. It's the Kickstarter. You guys go back it. We're getting the whole <sighs> wrap it up thing. So I guess we got to go to another commercial All right. break. When and we then come we will back, come back wait, 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 and wait. talk news. Wait, wait, wait. No. Wait, no. one more. When we come back, I have to show you guys why it was I wasn't oh, here last week, what I drove down right. to San Antonio for, and then we'll get to the news. All right, you guys. Where I don't get cut off. Uh huh. <laughs> Bobbitt says, my wallet is full of bad parking wait, cards. Wait, Ben. Geek Beat versions are almost sold out? What? Really? Are you ta are you serious? How many did they have up for sale? The, I think they only listed like they were going to do 25. Like five? Only seven left. Nice. Only seven Geek Beat versions left. Better go get it now. I'm sure they can do some more if they sell out. Probably. They really are cool. And so are the quickies. The quickies are awesome. If you put these on your keychain, they will let you open anything. Don't hit me. I'm with not going to hit. I just have an itch on the back of my head here. You're going to use your Bam Bam stick to itch the back of your head. Yep. I swear I'm twitchy with you having that around. <laughs> ben yes, said Lady A, we had puppies taken. in place of... Uh, Tom John. says no, not more TriCaster Mini. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Why do you say see. no, Tom? You're gonna you see. don't like the TriCaster Mini? How could it's that be awesome. possible? Rusty says 69 Hey, I got to be able to reach that. $69 for the Geek You're Beat version. You're running out of set space. I know it. <laughs> I know it. Uh, Does Dave, Dave Curley, Curley know Bobbage that would like to there's know a if there's a long, jacket? If you know that there's a Longhorn on your jacket. He, he says yes, Bobbage. It's there on purpose. He says it's there on purpose. What? What? See, the the. I don't know gangster signs. Look, John's edition is the black twelve card one. Callie's edition is the red four card one. <gasps> it's red. Red and four cards Yay! engraved with the Geek Beat TV logo. Nice. That is awesome. I want mine now. Lisa wants to know why you have a Bam Bam stick. Cause you missed the beginning of the show. Yeah. Lady yeah, A Lisa wants a try. Lady A wants the TriCaster Mini even though she has no use for one. That's what I'm saying. Hey. Oh boy, there's a lot of oh, tweets and stuff. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, he's trying to figure out how to salvage the show. I swear, if he's over there like testing an app, I'm going to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's writing replacements for, for okay. all three of you. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Hey, show. Let's right, come let's back. Go. We're going to do short back. commercial breaks because, um, yeah. Because I'm going to be in trouble. Because for being John late. is going to get in trouble for not being on in Houston on time. Here we go. Engine three. What do you need? Two. Everyone. And Pablo <laughs> needs some Kleenex, so I had to toss him a Kleenex box. Nice. And welcome back, guys. Welcome back, guys. We are having a great show, but even it is about no to get yet. even better. I'm enjoying the show. I don't know about you. I like this kind of thing I better. Do too. We, there's no rules. What do you no guys rules. think? Can you tell us? No what rules. What kind of show do you just like? Just right. Okay. Uh, I, I'm going to show you guys why some of you who were watching last week know that I was not here. David Foster sat in in my place. Yep. So did some puppies. And probably you enjoyed that more, but I'm back anyway to you torture were, you. You Ugh. went to San Antonio to uh, pick went, this little bad boy I went boy to San Antonio up. to get the TriCaster Mini. But yep. what you don't know is I got it, and then I came back, and... I built this case for it. No, I, you didn't. Pelican did. Well, Pel Pelican, Pelican built, built the, the outside case. of the case. I I messed with the inside. 
I assembled this case. Okay, that's good. I assembled idea. the contents of this case and organized it. And so I want you to see what I have here. I have in Ooh. one case a complete video production uh uh, uh Studio. I don't know, studio. Uh, studio. You have a production, production truck. truck in a That's box. A good word. Now, I'm going to show you what we have because you're not going to believe it. I have two monitors. Look how thin those things are. Look at this. This is a monitor, and it's not like a USB monitor. It that is a, an is HDMI monitor. Okay, look how thin that thing is. I have two of these in here so that we can do multi-monitor setups. That's awesome. Then... That way we know exactly what's going on, right? I have the all the wiring that you need. Nice. I've got a mouse, power brick, all That's this... A big power All this powery power stuff in here. Nice. I also have in here the little TriCaster Mini. <laughs> it's actually pretty dense, so it's kind of... It's kind of heavy. There you go. There we go. Okay. And this one is the big boy yep. because it has a monitor built in here, which means it's a three monitor kit. Yes. Guest. Okay. Hold on before you go on. Guest asked if we if somebody can if we can record the unboxing. Um, oh, never mind. I think he's asking something else. Oh, but okay. we do have an unboxing of the TriCaster Mini. Yeah, we do. We uh, unboxed it. So you guys it. can can yeah. watch that. Then I have the keyboard right here, of course, and I also have the special TriCaster control surface Nice. right here. So I got all of this into one case. Now, the only other things that you need are kind of optional things you need in, or in order to do a show. Like, for example, the show we're doing right now. Right. We use the big TriCaster, so this little baby thing could effectively do the show we're, we're shooting right now, but we use a bigger version. So Shocker wants to know, oh, go ahead. The only other things you need, you need cameras. Yes. Microphones. Yes, lights. And lights, that's it. Now, in some cases, you don't need lights. No, not Let's always. Let's say you were outdoors and it was plenty bright. Yeah. You know, you wouldn't need lights. Uh, Shocker um, would like to know if you can um, set it up in six minutes like Philip Nelson. I didn't, I wasn't able to do it the first time that I did it, but I think I could now. I think I could set it up and, and Philip Nelson did it in under four minutes. Yeah, that was impressive. I think I could do it in about five minutes, I but just, not the whole thing. Yeah. Like ah. just the cameras, ah. <laughs> like just, just the TriCaster and the cameras I could. Okay. Well, but I just have one thing to say. Yeah. That is bam awesome. <sighs> she makes me nervous with that. Okay, that's all the things that I was like oh. really excited that I wanted to show off to you cool. guys today. Do, do we want to talk about some news now? Yeah, okay, we could do some all news. All right, well, it is a music full of news. It is a news section a music full, full of, of news. news. It's music, it's, 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 it's a lot of music today. Can I have my drink back? Yes, you can have your drink back. Thank Get you. your wine there. All right, so YouTube decided to launch a, a subscription service called Music Key where you're able to get all of music videos you want without ads. It's called Music E? Music Key. Yeah, Music E? Music, that is, it's I called Music E? Say it out loud, yeah. <laughs> so you can get all this stuff, you know, all the music videos you want uh, all over YouTube, and you don't get ads, and you get to view it in offline mode, and you can. Now they say. And you can like download them or something? Yeah, you can download them, and they say you can get audio in the background. I think that means that you will not actually be watching the music video. It would just be audio. It would audio. be just music. It would be because music they would want to force the music, views on video. YouTube. John, they put that guy in their trailer. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> it's one of the top. It's one of the worst. Is that really him? That's him. Uh. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> OMG. That That's is funny. It, Are you serious? That's yeah. really in it? Oh my gosh, he is he is in our list of the top 10 worst videos on YouTube. That's why you should never buy this service. Wow. <laughs> they literally used a guy They used from a the bunch top of stuff. 10 worst videos ever on that's YouTube. That's funny. Oh, so that's So you amazing. can pay 
typically it'll be ten dollars a month, nine ninety nine. Everybody charges ten bucks right, a month. Right, right up front, it'll be eight dollars, seven ninety nine a month uh, oh, for the really? introductory price. You save two dollars. Uh, okay. Hey, if you're grandfathered in, that's that's two times. Oh, you get that's, grandfathered that's in. That's twenty four dollars a, a year. That's true. You're Dude. right. That's right. That that helps. Yep, that's good. Everything okay, helps. but I also, wonder how that benefits the actual music producers, like. You know, I mean, if I was, sh the reason I put videos on YouTube is because I want to make money from ad sales during I, the video. If yeah. they're going to now say, oh, you can get around all the ad sales right. by I just paying us. Anything about them sharing that stuff then with the artists. I would opt out of allowing that right. to even occur. I, I probably it, wouldn't it either. Yeah. Uh, huh? It is kind of like spot. Well, it's kind of like Spotify on-demand music videos, and we're gonna just skip right on to three, Dave, uh, where Spotify did hit the news this week with Taylor Swift pulling uh -oh. all her back catalog off of Spotify. You used to love Spotify. What are you talking about? I still love Spotify. I. Are you going to love Spotify, Spotify when everybody leaves every it? I Spotify every day of my life. Because she's not this the only one. This is freaking me out. Before we started this show, Gio came in here and told me that when she announced she was leaving, a whole bunch of other like famous artists like country musicians and all these other people are now saying... Radiohead. Radiohead. They've done it. They've left or they're going to leave. And they said, uh, uh, the, the folks from Spotify were like, well, I don't know what the problem is. Taylor Swift made like six million dollars last year, and the Taylor Swift people come back and go, uh, more like five hundred thousand. Five hundred k. Yeah, maybe if it was six million, we wouldn't have a problem. But when it's one twelfth of what you're saying, that's a problem. Right. Bye bye. So I, I think I have, I, I have the ability to continue using Spotify for quite a while because the song, the artists that I like are singer songwriter, lesser known people. So, and but, they won't be bullied. And they're all broke. They're, they're too broke to do anything about know. it. So the whole point of Taylor Swift doing this is that, you know, she wasn't getting, she doesn't feel like it's fair, which is understandable. Spotify has always stood by their, the fact that they send 70% of, you know, their revenue off to the artists. Yeah, but if they're not doing that. Like but if they're if not she, actually doing then that's a problem. Look, if they, if, if the Spotify. CEO of Spotify comes out and says she should have gotten six million dollars, right? And she got five hundred thousand. Someone, please explain to me where the missing five point five right. million dollars went. Yeah, I, we're gonna that's have not to. Fair. We're gonna that's have to cut. No, no. If that's actually happening across the board, then yeah. that's not fair, yeah. and that something has to change there. Yeah. But uh, you know, I would be happy to be honest. I, 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 I am happy to pay. For Spotify service because I use it every day of my life. But you um, also assume that but I, the people, but I'm the, doing you're that. supporting the artist. Yes, by doing I'm it. doing that because I am supporting the artist. Otherwise, you just bootleg the music like everybody else. Correct. So, I I don't know. Uh, we, we'll have to see how that. Are we still that, behind on the old uh, uh, commercials schedule, Pablo? You know what? We have to break for commercial again. Oh, okay. But we're going to be right back. And, and when while we, get back, we go, maybe I'll look at some other options. We have gadgety stuff. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Xbox music. The Xbox nice. music, yeah. Uh, even though I don't really use my Xbox because it's here. Yeah. My Let's Xbox come back. is here. Let's come back. Golan GZ says he thinks that they said Taylor could have gotten six million. I have the actual box. Um, he's going to go grab the box for his uh, Microsoft Band or whatever it's called. Okay. Okay. For us to unbox it? Yeah, because they announced it last week. Yeah. They bought it. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, he's going to go bring the box. All right. Okay. I do. I do, Tom. I need a Bam Bam Cam. <sighs> Bam Bam. We had one, but you didn't like us looking up. Bam Bam Cam. It doesn't need to be up my nose. It needs to be a Bam Bam Cam. Oh, my God. <laughs> she makes me so nervous with that thing. <laughs> Oh, this thing is awesome. <laughs> okay, let's come back. Only five Geek Beat wallets left now. Pandora's going up in price. I don't. I don't doubt that. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Three. Hold on. What? She's gonna sneeze. Do it. She went away. Okay. All good. Next time let's Pablo go. Get a true up. Exactly. Okay, let's do this. Pablo, I will kill you if you do that. I'll make it very brief. Right. <sighs> Hey guys, welcome.
Welcome back to Geek Beat Live. What are you thinking about, John? We're on. We're, we're off commercial. That Stop last thinking. cut to go to commercial break. It just felt a little. I don't know. Sudden, didn't it? No, it was fine. Oh, was it? <laughs> that was the shortest commercial something, break or uh, segment ever. Something is fishy around here. <laughs> this is why you should never give amateurs control of a television <laughs> station. For Wait, any you, did of you time. just call That's Dave Curley an amateur? We we are we are collectively amateurs, <laughs> and they have turned over a television network to us. That was probably not too wise, but that's okay. You know what? They yeah. gave uh, they gave uh, Howard Stern his own radio network. And that was not so wait wise. Till they see well, what we do to but dish. Hey, that did right. that did pretty well for them monetarily speaking. Yeah, actually, they did. They made a killing. So they're not. So maybe, I don't think we have that same power. Maybe you two America is making a killing because we're on this show. I don't think that that could be. I'm sure of it. And know. now we need to. Get back to the news. <laughs> we got to get back to the All news. All right. So okay, it's let's gadget talk time. gadgets. Now, as you know, 3D I'll, printers are all the rage these days. This is not a 3D printer. No, it's not. It is a 3D printer, but it is more than it a 3D printer. It can do 3D printing, but this is the flux. No, not it's, the word capacitor is not coming after. It's just the <laughs> flux. It's a modular, multitasking 3D appliance they call it because this will not only do 3d printing but it will also do 3d scanning mm -hmm. and, and if that's not good enough mr john p's favorite you get freaking lasers <laughs> this thing uh, see look at it first of all it looks pretty cool it goes up and down up and down back and forth blah 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 that's a little 3D printer thing and also scanner thing. It has these different attachments for the printing, for the lasers, uh, for the laser etching, and for the scanning. So you you actually have to use tools to switch them out, but it will switch out. So you just take one attachment, put it on, do your thing, take it off, put the next one on, do your thing. So you don't have to have three different devices for all this cool new stuff that we have in this world. Now. Here's what else I find to be very, very interesting about this device, the price point. When I first saw it, I was looking, I was looking at it, I was like, You're okay, like, this is going to be two or three grand. Yep. The full-on version of this, with the laser, with the freaking laser, six seventy nine. With the laser, without That's the laser, insane. it's like uh, $499, I think. $400, $500 or something. But don't buy that. Get the one. <laughs> with the freaking laser. Because why not? That way, you can print stuff, you can scan stuff, and you can burn stuff with the laser. Well, everybody seems to have the same idea that they are going to go for it because it had. they asked for $100,000 on Kickstarter, and it is already up to $515,000. That's impressive. And now, it still doesn't end until December 21st. Now, you guys remember what I always say about these things. The thing you got to remember about Kickstarter projects is they promise one delivery date, and usually they don't deliver then. Yep. I mean, like 99% of the time, they'll tell you this is going to deliver at this particular. Now, this one I think was promising about the middle of next year to deliver. Mm -hmm. But if they're July. anything like every other Kickstarter project It'll take longer. in history, especially ones of this complexity, yes. you'll be lucky to get this in 2015. So I'm just going to say, I think it looks amazing. Yes. If they were able to actually start delivering these things by middle of next year, I'd say two thumbs up. That's great. Like six months wait for this, great. My concern, especially the bigger the the the, the right. Kickstarter project gets oh, the yeah. more they have to build the more the demand the bigger issues that they have indeed so you may I don't know it sounds awesome but you may also say well I'll wait till they're actually commercially available and people have worked through the first buggy yeah. issues but I, I think it looks amazing so that's cool all right well um, so I, I want I want to talk to you guys I, I have a question for you Dave can I get the close-up cam Raise your hand if you have a PlayStation 3 or a 4. Oh, I'm waiting. She can actually see into your soul. <laughs> a lot of you. 
A lot of you. So uh, now you might actually be able to get cable TV service streamed through your PS3 or 4. Wow. Through PlayStation Well, it's View. not exactly cable TV service. Well, but it's, it's like a replacement it's for like cable TV. It's like a replacement yes. instead of, you know, you can cut the cord and be happy. That's right. So what you'd part. be able to do is you'd be able to get 75 channels through this PlayStation Network thing. You just pay them a monthly fee. Yep. And you can get stuff like Food Network, Only HGTV. English, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. MTV. Lots of Spanish, lots of French. Uh, NBC, Fox, and my favorite, BET. <laughs> John, why is that your favorite? Because it is. Oh, okay. Word. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of BET, there's something I'm not supposed to tell you guys. What's that? But guess what? I'm going to anyway, because we're rule breakers around here. If you are not aware... You're scaring me, John. The New England Patriots... It was the Patriots, right? Yeah. The New England Patriots are a football team. Yes, they They, they play are. foosball. And Foosball. they were approaching the one million follower mark on the Twitters. Well, congratulations. First NFL team to ever reach this mark. Okay. And they knew that it was coming. So, like, you know what? This is going to be pretty cool. Let's do something special. They built a bot. They built a machine that would wait for that one millionth follower. And then when the one millionth follower hit... It would make an announcement. It would tweet That's to them. Cool. They were going to give them like prizes and all kinds of oh, crazy. I mean, nice. like it was going to be great. That sounds awesome. And it happened. So they hit one million. And Dave, can we see who was the one millionth follower? I don't know if we can read that clearly. Is it possible to zoom in a little bit? I think on people that? can probably read that. Because. The person's wow. name was oh. not appropriate at all. Wow. They I don't think it. we should even be showing well, that. Well, hey, this is the news, and we share the news. And so this goes to show you that you may not want... Automation on social media is not always right or good. That's right. You <laughs> probably don't want to be doing that. Wow. So... Tweeting, social media, I, you know. Did you see that I gave him the trifecta of this? I gave it on that camera, then that camera, and then that camera. I did I went not like see this. that. I did not know it what you were like doing. It went like this. Are you ready? It went okay. like this. <laughs> nice. That was brilliant, John. That's what you get. <laughs> when you automate it and you get something <laughs> bad happening, then you get the, the trifecta. You know, I would have assumed... That somebody on that team would have wanted to be involved in that process. Like one million Twitter account. Yes, you would want to be celebrating it. You would want to see but it see, happen. But the thing is, they didn't know exactly when it was. It could have happened at 2 a.m. So, so they, why not wait for it? I would have waited for it. Okay, maybe. I did not wait for it maybe. when I hit a million, but I would have. All I'm saying is, you may want to do something where instead of automatically sharing it, at least it just sends it to someone for a quick review and then they hit the button that says go and that, then it That would have just been smart. A little that would have been humanity. smart. This is why robots should not be left in charge. That is we'll get to not that later. True. Exactly. In fact, what's our next story? Uh we the uh, the next story oh, do comes we have time? to us. Courtesy of Samsung. Do we have time? <laughs> has no Pablo, idea at this point. She says, do we have time? Pablo goes like this. Because <laughs> we have totally screwed with his timing. The bus. The bus <laughs> is over there. That's right. The bus is over there. The wheel's over there. Yeah, and, and Pablo's just, back there. Let's just so. do it. Let's just do it. Because you guys know. By now, we could have already done the story. <laughs> Samsung uh, announced, when we were over in Germany, announcing the Note 4, uh, they also announced the Gear VR. Yeah. So that thing was awesome. A little augmented reality device. Virtual reality glasses. Uh, now they have launched Samsung Project Beyond. Oh, yeah. It is a 360-degree 3D camera that you can capture virtual reality on, essentially, and then plug that into the Gear VR. And it has 16 full HD cameras in the unit itself That's to capture cool. all this stuff.
But there's just one problem. It's not available yet, or an actual or product. Or maybe ever will be available because it's just a fictional work mm. of engineering marveling but that they're cool. working on. But it's cool. That's true. That's, yeah. Anyway. That's true. All right, now uh, to this music, we're going to dance right oh, on out of we're here. We're going to dance into our last commercial. Is our last Actually, commercial break? We have two more commercial breaks. We have this commercial break, then. Later, we got one before we go to unboxing time. And we love that you guys watch our commercials because that's how we pay for Callie's stuff. Bam, bam, hammer. <laughs> bam, bam, hammer. Sorry, sorry, Cody, that you had to witness that. Uh, during our <laughs> right. Are, are you he's warming up yet? He's going back to network television. Uh, yeah, he's like, well, oh they my were, God, get me out of here. They got really warm, but then they decided to turn the heat down. Well, no, we were warm in the conference room. Oh. And then oh. The conference room and warm in the, Did you uh, just decide to work in the, in the conference room? the photo studio. <laughs> Those two are just smoking hot. I went in there. I'm not kidding. You should feel my hands right now. Right. Oh, yeah. The guy's coming on Monday. Oh, like oh that's, not, that's not cold. Your lips aren't blue. Hers usually turn blue. Yeah, my fingers are get way colder <laughs> than that. He's like walking around in his jacket. <laughs> so for those of you who are not in the geek house, that's Cody over there. Say hi to the camera. And what's happening <laughs> is his office is like 27 degrees. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. Colder in my office than it is outside. Yeah, it outside is. is like 34, but his office is like 27. And Chris, who's beside him, That's is right. also experiencing the same thing. Yeah. Did yeah. we call? Yeah, we called. Did we? So what's happening, what's going to happen is they are going to... Uh, <laughs> I tried to follow there's Cody something, out. Yeah, there's something wrong with uh, the balance of the registers, the HVAC registers. Yeah. <laughs> and so we, it just got cold for the first time since we've been in the Geek House. And we didn't really know this until now. So, uh, the, maybe if you had stayed around and not gone partying in New York. Yeah, maybe, know. maybe if I hadn't been partying in New York, then I would have been well, here to Well, you guys up can earlier. take care of these things yourselves, you know. Yeah, you're big boys. I mean, you're big well, boys. I tried to adjust it, and you kicked me. Oh, right. dear, please. That's right. So, anywho, so uh, on Monday, I think, oh, they're probably ahead. gonna come and tell us they want like one billion dollars to fix the. Yeah, the At least no one's like working one on the weekend, billion right? Dollars no one's coming here to work on the weekend. I guess I guess Cody it. and Chris are not. Uh, how's Lance's office? I I'm assuming. Is he it's here? Actually, I don't Today? know, but you know what? Geo's office is not cold. And Foster's is hot. And Foster's oh, is Foster's hot? He said he was burning up yesterday. That's because Foster's. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. They're all they they got to balance those registers and stuff. So I'm yeah. I'm worried because I think he's gonna come back and go. Oh yeah, you need a bunch of new ducting and you need new registers. And it's gonna be fifty three thousand dollars. Why does he talk like that? Because he's got a he's got a speech impediment and we don't make fun of him. Okay. No, I'm not making fun of him. I was just asking why your character talks like that. That was my just character curious. talks like that because he has a speech problem. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, he has a left here's too, what, here's what so we're, my character talks like that. Here's what we're going to okay? do. Okay, we don't make fun of them. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to come back uh -huh. from commercial break. We're going to do the bird, mm -hmm. and then we're going to go right on into robot time, are you gonna do the funky chicken? and then cars, and then break, because I think we are, like, way okay. over. We're just going to kill science. No science. Do you hear that? No. We're killing, killing 10 science. and 11. Okay, I'm just going to join you after the song. I know. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do it. I know, just throw up <laughs> She's anything. Like, <laughs> just throw it up. <laughs> what last story? We're picking up at nine. On gadgets? We're picking up at nine. Um, um, because you weren't edit, listening to I'm us? I'm going to edit this show, and I'm just going to give it to Ryan and just let him do whatever. Yeah, exactly. That's fine. M. Regstat said, uh, uh, he'll you use should. It. It's fine. He said, you should try out Tidal Hi-Fi, music streaming and CD quality. Great service by the Norwegian folks at Aspero. Oh, we're only going to get to hear quality? Bjork and Ace of Bass. Tidal Hi-Fi. That's it. Bjork and Ace of oh, Bass. I saw the Ben, star. don't worry. Your, your, um, your run sheet was fantastic, and you don't have to take any blame That's for, right. this, for this episode. It's not you. It's me. <laughs> right. It's not you. It's me. Mm. 
I mean, I'm sorry. It's not you. It's Pablo. <laughs> yeah, it's actually it's oh it's been <laughs> Pablo de delegated. It's been it to de Carter. delegated from the senior intern down. down to the it's Carter. Carter. It's not you. It's Carter. Yeah, from the senior intern to the head intern. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> what is Carter's official title? We senior don't. Senior intern. No, oh, Carter. No, oh yeah, no, he's not. Carter doesn't have a title. He's not. He's kind of. He was just a regular intern, but I think he's been elevated in status from that. But I. Carter does, he does produce his own show now. He does. We're going to see how that goes. <laughs> but, uh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. So, all right, let's do it. Three, two. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Geek Beat Live. They've been watching this episode of Geek Beat. Why are we welcoming them to a new episode of Geek Beat? Well, not like another. I guess that's true. I, I, it's I'm, not another I'm episode of Did Geek Beat. Did we start a new show? Welcome back to the same continuing saga of this thing that that's we're better. calling Geek Beat that is a wretched example of our show. Like I apologize if, that we've wasted so much of your time. Look, if a network, if a big, like, we love the guys at U2 America. You guys know that. Don't take us oh, wrong. Yeah. But let's say like NBC were to come to us and be like, hey, somebody said you guys have a great show on a smaller network. We're a bigger network. Maybe we would like to buy your show and put it on the most popular spot in the universe. I, I think they we wouldn't would not ask us to do that without watching it. First of all, it would never happen. But if it were to happen and they said, we would like to see an example of your show we would not show them this one. We'll show them Good Morning America. <laughs> we'll show them Good Morning America and say, that's our show. Could you please put it on the network? <laughs> Callie uh, and I will host it, and we will take your millions of dollars and cash it. Wait, they're, they're going to give us millions of dollars? What? No, that's the point. They're what? not. Oh. Because of this. Oh. Because this is what we produce. They're not going to do it. Yeah. This but is all we, we know how. Anyway. Yeah, this is now, where it all ended. Perhaps, but I have an idea. Uh huh. Perhaps the show could, it? could get better if we had a little birdie, a little parrot birdie, that talked like R two D two. That would be a good way to salvage the show. J Dave, do you think we could come up with? Maybe a quick we could scrounge maybe? something up. Oh, look, there you go. Yay! Let's hear him. <laughs> that is impressive. That is awesome. That is Bluey the bird. He is a budgie, which is a or is a, it a bougie? A type of parakeet, and uh, he's <laughs> yes, owned a, by the that's Carly. Good point, Dave. He has the same color as R two D two. He is. He's owned by Carly Jeffrey and family, and he has learned how to mimic R two D two sounds just from listening to the movie movie a few times. Yes. How, which, how about that? Which parrots and parakeets can do, but he can do it longer than any other one. That's right. He's can. just indefinite R2-D2. He exactly. has decided he He's likes R2. He's just going to do it and do <laughs> it until he cannot do it any longer. <laughs> the, Pablo is distracting what? What's me. What's wrong? He's telling okay. me to move on, move on from the parrot. He doesn't okay. like parrot jokes or something. Apparently not. Why? Do you, do you have... Right. Apparently they eat them in Chile. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't mean they eat them. I don't mean like... In Chile, like you made a bowl of chili and they put parrot. I mean that in Chile, where he comes from, they just eat these things. I guess I don't. That's, Chile, that's like that's Mexico the rumor or something, right? That I started. Mexico, but it's the it's rumor. It's like South Mexico, yeah. South Mexico, yeah. It's like uh -huh. Southeast Mexico or somewhere, something. Somewhere around there, yeah. They eat parrots <laughs> and parakeets. That's just the rumor I started. I don't know. All right, let's move on into robots. Oh, brother. Can we skip this segment today? You can either. I, I'll give you a choice. You can skip robots or you can get more Bam Bam. I'll take robots. <laughs> I'll take robots right. for 100. I thought, I thought you might say that. So you know Al Atlas, right? The robot Atlas. No. That, a pet, pet man. Uh, Atlas Robots, they're from Boston Dynamics, okay. which is oh, now owned Boston by Google. Boston Dynamics. Yes, you they're remember the ones them, who make don't the you? ones that hunt down humans. Uh, something to like that effect. Cheetahs. Something to that effect. Well, now, now Atlas, ha he can like run like crazy speed. He can do all sorts of really cool things. Do we have him ready to go? 
All right, let's listen to this. Uh, let's watch this. The Institute for Human Learning and Machine Cognition is teaching Atlas very new tricks. He is going to be able to do Kung Fu. Oh, great. Come on, let's get to it. So you're Where telling... Where's the video? <laughs> I don't know. I'm look... I started it at the time index. Oh, come on. You're I want to see the video. Me... Don't ask me. We had a robot that could already chase down humans. This is not this the is video. Boring. This is not the video at all. This is not the video. This is uh -oh. not. There we go. <laughs> wow. There we go. It he can wax do, on, wax off. He's sit, He's balancing on two by fours, and uh, now he's gonna do his his. Oh, is uh, he on yeah, cinder blocks? Cinder block. I'm sorry, I can't see. I can't. I can't see on that tiny little screen. Yeah. And he's he's balancing with one arm with one leg up. Uh -huh. In the future, he will be able. He can extend his leg. Uh -huh. In the future, he'll be able to jump, and do the like jump kick like jump uh, kick, yeah. like uh, what's his name from Karate Kid? Danielson. Daniel yes. He's like Danielson. Exactly. He's going to be doing the pelican. He's going to be like, Hoo! and he's going to stand there like one leg is injured. Yep. Yeah. So, and then pow. Now remember, he is a six foot two, three hundred and thirty pound robot. So for that. To be able to accomplish kung fu like that, pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. To, to, yeah, powered by fortune cookies. To be honest, I don't see much kung fu going on. He's not scaring me all that much at the moment. It's just the beginning. Just the beginning. That does scare me. That does scare <laughs> me. Okay, what else you got for us? Uh, the DJI Inspire One, which, as you guys know from the beginning of the show, Adorama is Wait, giving now, how away a DJI. Uh, Phantom to one of you guys at geekbeat.tv slash giveaways. How did you slip this into the robot section? Because it's like a little robot. It's a robot. Come on. It's, it's a, a robot. quadcopter. It's a robot. It belongs in planes, trains, and automobiles time. Quadcopters are robots, too. Don't discriminate. Go ahead. Tell them about it. So the DJI Inspire 1 is uh, the new DJ, DJ... That's hard to say. DJI. DJI um, uh, quadcopter. And they ch completely changed the idea of the camera system for this is a big daddy quadcopters. Quadcopter. This is huge. It's, it's amazing looking. It's a 4K camera. But what they've done is dropped the camera down. So in, in landing position, it you know has all four feet on the ground. But it comes up, and no, then the, the camera drops. The legs raise up. Right. Well, the camera, I don't think, really drops. Well, the so camera's much there. It's the, the legs that the are legs getting raise. out of the way, essentially. Yeah, you'd be like, well, why did the legs go up? The legs go up so that when the thing is moving around like this. You get a and full 360-degree view. Yeah, the, the camera has, it's on a gimbal, right? Yep. So it's moving this way, this way, this way. So whatever, if you steer the quadcopter in one direction, the gimbal moves in the other direction yep. to counteract it. Well, when the legs are up high, you, could, you have free movement, and the legs never dip down and screw up your shot. Right, because that's annoying. 18 and, yeah, minutes, the propellers, propellers don't either. 18 minutes of flight time. It can be controlled uh, via remote that you can get. And, uh, yeah, so it's $28.99 well, with one controller, $33.99 with two. So the, the thing with two controllers is you have dual operators, right? Yes. So, like, I could be flying it and directionally. And I could take over? And, no, you can't. I could take over you? No. I could take over what you're doing? No. You could work the camera, though. Okay. I could fly it. Hey! Touch and you could bam. work the camera. Why are you taking my bam bam? <laughs> nice. So, uh, yeah, that'd be cool. Now, we saw the Iris the Iris quadcopter a while back, which we loved, yes. which was cool because you could program it to fly in a particular direction and do yes. all kinds of craziness. But this is actually a much higher priced unit. These yes. things at, at you know, three to four thousand dollars will shoot higher, you know, higher resolution video and they do some extra craziness. Yeah. Uh, but we haven't actually gotten our hands on one yet. So whenever we do, I'll be sure to fix it. And fly uh, it. They've already said that you cannot fix more quadcopters. Okay, well, I'll just fly it. But uh, you can <sighs> talk about flying or other planes, trains, and automobiles things. Which is what I'm going to do now. The moment. Now, it's plane, trains, and automobiles time, and it is time to talk about Elon Musk. I never know oh. how to say his name. Is it Elon, Elon Musk? or is no, it it's Elon. Elon? Is I just feel. Everybody says it's Elon. Yeah. Elon Musk. Yeah, is, it Dar is he related to Daria Musk? No. Are you sure? Well, I don't know for sure. I didn't think so. Well, anyway, Elon so. has confirmed that he has plans for SpaceX.
to build a communications grid that encircles the Earth made up of 700 different satellites. I feel like I should be making a ball of magical stuff in my hands. Dave, we'll have to like get a thing where you can make static electricity and I go pew. But anyway. Uh, uh, yeah. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna have 700 satellites encircling the globe and those satellites uh, will be able to have like internet service for everybody on the globe. Oh wait, 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 wait. So Google and a bunch of other companies have been trying to create uh, a system of like flying balloons, weather balloons that uh -huh. have uh, satellite service. So, Wussies. So you're telling Wussies. me Elon Musk decided this, he's gonna, this he's doesn't like, make any sense. We're going to go above and beyond. Look, have you seen the movie Star Trek? Of course any I have. Any of them? Of course I have, dude. The ships are coming towards the Earth, and when you look at the Earth, it has this huge array of like space grid stuff like floating around the Earth. Yeah. Elon Musk is going to build it because wow. you know why? Wow. He can. Go Elon. Now, last year. I feel like I should say, let me do that again, Dave. Go Mr. Musk. I, I don't feel like I, I, I'm that close enough to, to sure say I'm not sure you're Elon. really capturing the essence of the excitement, but that's okay because Frenchman. <laughs> that was a little low key, wasn't it? Frenchman Francois Gissy <laughs> is excited. He is very excited he's, that he ha, he's so excited that he built a 207 mile per hour bicycle. I, I'm sorry. Yes, what? that's right. He is actually the holder of the uh, previous world record 177 mile per hour bicycle, uh, which was powered was. using a hydrogen peroxide rocket. However, he decided 177 miles per hour was, was not, not enough. fast enough. So he built a new three hydrogen power peroxide powered rocket bike that has 560 horsepower, pulls 1.9 Gs, and he set a new record at 207 miles per hour wow. on a bicycle. What, what is that, a that Schwinn, John? I Schwinn? think it's a Huffy. D Diamondback? I'm not sure, but that's not good enough because he He's says- He's gonna go further? He's not satisfied. Now he's going to work on the 250 wow. mile an hour ver uh, version that he's going to call the Spine Crusher. Wow, that's insane. And okay. we're going to loan him Pablo. Maybe, maybe he shipped us one and uh, we get to unbox it today. Maybe. maybe. Well, we're going we to find see. out when we start unboxing stuff immediately after we get back from this commercial message. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> oh. Everyone else? Oh, that's not good. Serge said he was more impressed with Pee Wee's bike. That's true. Pee Wee has an bike. awesome bike. Why, thank you, Lady A. I am wearing a combination of blue and um, white eyeshadow. Really? That's, that's why it looks shimmery. I am wearing a combination <laughs> of flesh colored <laughs> and John P. colored eyeshadow. So you might not be able to see it. Right. But it's amazing workmanship. <laughs> hmm. Okie dokie. All right. I guess they're working on some stuff, but then we'll be good to go. I still cannot believe there's no Kosi here. John Rush Very is asking upset. on Twitter. What is the status of the patron hangouts? Have I missed them? No, John. Or what? You have not, because here's the deal. I thought I responded to you on Twitter, did I not? We I need wrote to do a one. I don't to care. You. He wants to air the dirty laundry. I don't care. I want to do one. Um, uh, right after the show, John. Yeah, as he's driving to Houston. Um, <laughs> all right, we will do another one and, and keep you guys up to date, because here, here's the deal. Basically, Google changed stuff. They broke it. And then it, it basically we had no way of sharing it with you guys privately. So it became a public hangout and it wasn't just for you guys anymore. Yeah. And so we were very frustrated by that and a bunch of other things. So we have been working on a system to fix that.
and not John P. fix it, but real fix it. Yeah, but we're going to do it anyway. I don't care. Okay, well, let's do it. I just don't care. I'll, I'll set it up for maybe next week or something if I can find. Yeah, I think I have some time next week. How's that for you, John Rush? Rusty said, boo, Google. Yeah. Boo, Google. Google needs Boogle. to fix it. Boogle. Boogle. Let's do this. Let's go. Oh, nice. Carter is running the unboxing segment. Hey, is the thing in here? What is the thing? Do it. Is it what in is there? That? Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I need to, I'll move my cherry, my cherry chair. My cherry up. I know, he took my Bam Bam. We can't. What's wrong with you? Yeah, we can't just break things. What? You can't just bam bam things. Uh, you can't just bam bam everything you want. Yes, I can. I'm Callie Lewis. It's true, actually. Okay, are we ready? Please, Bob, it's just Doesn't stay quiet about that. Doesn't have a 10-person match. Just stay now, quiet about the, that. The problem. Carter is going to run the, the unboxing. Segment. Nice. He's run the segment. I thought senior intern was him. He's senior no, intern. Pablo. <laughs> uh, so what's going to happen is, uh, uh, yes, shocker, there's a 10-person max on Hangouts, which is the problem. Yes. Because we have many, many more than 10 patrons who need to be on the Hangouts. So what we have to do is we let the first 10 <laughs> into it, but then we do a public Hangout. But the public Hangout is supposed to be limited to only the people who we put give permission to see it. Ben. However, Google broke it. Ben. Ben, ben, ben. And, huh? Ben has a hashtag starting free Callie's Bam Bam. <laughs> right. Please. Hey, anyway, that's what happened. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Oh, Carter, man. Carter, are you ready? Holy cow. My stomach is growling. Carter, you need to take control of this situation. <laughs> He's like, okay. <laughs> Carter, uh, maybe a little more there. Are you ready to count them down? Okay. I'm confused. No, no, it's your countdown. Hang on, just hang on, just Oh my God, that's gonna take like five minutes. Just turn it off. Or I mean, turn it up. I'm in a happy mood today. I've Are had you? I've had a good show. I feel good about this show. I I think that the network doesn't feel good about this show because it's been like 400 times too long. I don't I, even know what you guys had to. I feel very bad about this show. They had I to cut so much stuff I don't know to what get you this to fit into hear. this show. You guys have no idea. But now we're going to give them even more to cut because we have a ridiculous number of unboxings over here. And I don't even know what to tell you. Let's do it. So yeah, we're gonna let's do it. Let's get into it. We've got uh, our, let's our do this geeky one first. quick keys ready. We have our geeky go. quick. This one that you will not need that need for. It. This Microsoft. is actually Microsoft. Microsoft. You know what? Microsoft opened a new store here in Dallas. They did, and they brought in uh, the band Perry and some other country singer. Who did you say Tim the McGraw. band? Who? Did, Tim McGraw. Did you say they brought in the band? They did. They brought in the band Perry the to band. launch the band. The band. So, yes, they have a new band in town. It's called the Microsoft Band. And this is what it looks like. And it's got a little How does it's got it open? a little Fasten. clasp. It's got clasp? a little a little clasp thing. So, there you go. I don't know that you can get this detailed in here, but you see there's black. little things and you squeeze these little thingies and the little thingies kind of open and stuff. And there's a little groove here. And the thingies go in the groove and then bang. That's awesome. how it works. Bang. Bam! Now, when you don't. <laughs> now there also happens to be a couple of sensors all up in this yeah, thing. Yeah, I believe that, that it does like heart two rate. Them, one and two. Yeah, doesn't one, it do heart rate two. and stuff? I don't know what it does, but yes. here all I know is Big D is going to be reviewing this sucker. And you know what, guys? It works on Windows, of course. Yes. Also works on iPhone and Android. Yeah, does it come well, with that curry smell? Yes. <laughs> so that. Awesome. All right. Well, that. we will be giving that a try. Big D's going to do a review on that. Big so D. So you guys watch mystery, out. Now, mystery, mystery man. man. Oh, 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 oh. What? 
what? I'll save it for later. I, I, I really want to open something over there. No, I see. I know what you want, but this is what you're going to get first. Okay. They're, it's all awesome. Of course it is. This comes from our friends over at CE Supply. Oh, yes. They have a new product that has come out that we are going to be taking a look at. Oh, that looks not. Oh, bamboo. It is indeed. Nice. This, my friends, is a new type of charger base. Oh, that is now, beautiful. Now, we looked look at, at their that. other ones that we really liked. This one. Yep, I was shopping for those on Amazon this morning. Look at that. This is the MV Uni 4 charging station. So you have slots for your charging, and then you have indentations here. Um, and the nice oh. thing is that, of course, bamboo is a, oh, a um, here we go. green That's, product, right? Yep. Now look at this. It's got some little, those look like little magnets, magnets to me. And there this we go. goes like that. That is and brilliant. And kind of sticks on there, I guess. Because then you can put your, your cabling down here and hide it all away, right? And From it cut, let me use my quickie here. There we go to get the stuff like that. It's got a power brick. And then on the sides, brick. you can put the, you can take the cable out of here, plug in, and be done. So oh, it's got, it comes nice. with a four port charger and a power brick so that you can fully power all of your goodies. We would, I believe they're all two, I believe they're all full two amp outputs. Awesome. And we would stick this down in here and then wire everything up down in there. So and as Cal like is that. saying, cable management is included, yes. etc. So we will take a look at that and we will do a little review and cool. get back to you guys on how that goes. The now, Uni 4. Okay, we'll make Callie happy because I know huh? she's been dying to take a look at this one. I really have. Okay, what so is it? as you know, because I've talked about it for over the last couple of years, I use an AOC uh, USB monitor uh, as one of my extended monitors. Uh, so I have like four monitors, and that's one of them uh, because I need that. Uh, <laughs> um, and so then they came out with the AOC 17 inch version and it has a new sleek, like modern sexy. look, sexy look to it. And I was like, oh my God, please send that to me ASAP. And they did. Please send that to me AOSC. AOSC, AOC SP. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at that. What is that? Pay. Oh, my. Oh, wow. They've actually I, I now... I think I sounded a little like George Takai there. Yeah, oh, my. <laughs> They've actually got a little uh, uh, carrying yeah, case here. Yeah, and it's foamy. For oh, the monitor. Bobbage says, you also, John P., have a new sleek, sexy look. Oh, why, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's right. <laughs> it also comes with a Ooh. USB cord. So this is the the 17 inch monitor. Um, here we go. I like that these off. quickies. And you can get your own quickie on <laughs> geeky.tv forward slash shop for only fifteen dollars. Nice. So on the back is where it really shines because. Wow! Look how skinny it is. Yeah, okay. it's super skinny, right? Like that. But then. You have a new, oh, it's taped down. That's why I oh, can't open I it. Oh, I see. Hang on. And it's got plastic. We're going to get this plastic All over here. it. Protect it. Got to protect you it. How much, that one was? how much is uh, it? How much is it, guys? Somebody look it up for us in the ye old chat room. I didn't bother to ask how much it was. I just said I wanted it. There you go. There. Look at that. Look at that. So I really actually like this a lot. Um, the version before is actually plastic. But here's, here's the trick. You can... Swivel it around. Rotate it. Let's see how do you rotate this one. Do you even need to rotate it? You're it just does. trying to stand it up, right? Oh yeah, you actually. It. You don't oh, have to. Oh, even better because on the previous version you did have to swivel it. Yeah, you don't have so to. So it'll go landscape or portrait, which is brilliant. Yeah. Wow, yeah, that's so pretty I'm nice. I'm gonna be giving and, that a try. Oh my gosh. Look, it's got <gasps> Visa mount. Oh, that's new. That is new. You can actually Visa mount it now, Yay! which you couldn't do before. I can now, now have, we could put ooh, the dual, dual arm monitor mount from Omni. No, uh, Omni mount. I mean Omni mount. Yeah, the dual monitor mount. Oh, very cool. Wow. Maybe I'll even get one then. I don't know. You so can't it's have got mine. a beautiful. Wait, slip it in this case. Okay. Let's see how that goes. If you do, don't scratch I call it. Dibs on your Android tablet. 
Oh yeah, the Android uh, uh, monitor. Yeah, I want to play with that. Nice. There you go. So that's how you carry it around with you and to take your extra USB it's just monitor. USB. How much was it, guys? One ninety nine. Is it one ninety nine? One ninety nine on Amazon. All right. It is the E one seven five nine FWU. That should fit in your tilt. Nice. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Here's right. a box. This box ah comes from our old friends at GE's True Vision. Yes. Guess what this is? What? It is a new camera for us to oh. add to our security camera Yay. network. It's three sixty. This is a 360 camera that's a six megapixel, 360 degree indoor outdoor dome nice. camera. Nice. So what that means is you've got one camera that plugs into your security system network. It's fixed, but you can virtually kind of navigate the whole thing, I believe, in 360 degrees once it's all mounted, oops, up in the ceiling, in old L ceiling O. These things are sturdy. Looks, I mean, heavy nice. duty. Look at that. It's got a big, heavy duty Ooh. metal base. Of course it does, because it has to if it's outdoor as well. Yeah. And uh, here is how the little camera looks. It looks like a little eye in the sky. So you put that like, <laughs> oh, cool. you hang that yep. up like that. Okay. And this thing with the software. You can look 360 degrees straight down this way. You can look anywhere. Cool. So it plugs in, you know, to these funky cables, but it gets power over Ethernet. And, and look, these are like LEDs, it looks like. I think this thing can provide its own illumination. Oh, interesting. And is that a microphone? That's probably it's probably infrared lighting, John. It's it may be. I don't know. But it's also got a microphone, so you can listen oh, in on people that you're spying on. That's, that's awesome. good. Yeah, so awesome. that's pretty cool. So we'll get that thing all hooked up here at the old geek house. And we shall Dolly. see. We shall see how it goes. Now, what else? We have two more things. However, before we get to them, I'm just going to provide a warning. Oh. That some of you are watching this on TV and they may have to shorten the segment a little bit. <laughs> so if so, we'll check you guys out later. Indeed. And we will now provide a break for it to cut right past this next unboxing. Thank you go so like much this. for watching. No, no, go like this. Now we'll come back to that in a minute. Now. I, I have to remember what I did uh, though. Hmm. Next up. Ion. We like Ion. This. I haven't I like gotten, I haven't this. gotten to use my, uh, you already. I know you wanted to, it. but it's already been pre slicey slicey so. Slicey slicey. Uh, it has been. So what we have here, oh, but don't worry. There's Ooh. another box, it's a Yay. box in a box. Would you oh. like help? Because oh. I can't really help you from over here. I, I'm going to turn it over. Okay. And lift the box off, off the other of it. box. Off of it. There you go. Back. There you go. That's right. Protect the knees. <gasps> oh. Look at this. Oh, I think I have a spot for this in my house. <laughs> really? Uh huh. Yeah. Tell this. Them didn't get here. We need more. Right. This, <laughs> my friends, is the Sound Lounge Ottoman with built in side. speakers. That is so cool. So, what it is, is guess what it is? It's an ottoman with built-in speakers That's cool. from Ion. Nice. Uh, let's see. Power adapter and cable are stored inside the compartment <laughs> under the ottoman. We're going to turn it over. <laughs> We're going to turn it over. Uh, <laughs> all right. Here we go. See, that's the trick, people. Just turn it over and lift the box off the product, not the product out of the box. <laughs> and we will use our quickie to open the tape very quickly. Like that. <laughs> That's All why right. it's called called the quick. So you can see the ottoman. It looks just like a regular, you know, chair. Looks like ottoman. an ottoman. Except and then you have Oh, that's the back. That's the controls. That's what do we right. have down we there, have? over there? We got power. No, yeah, we got a power button. We <laughs> got House Sherman says it's a butt speaker. Volume and bass. Which we would clearly want to turn those all the way up. <laughs> We also have inputs and outputs here. Yeah. Uh, and then we turn it to the side. Bang. Speaker. You got a speaker. Turn it. Bang. Speaker. I think that's a oh, woof. I think that's the that subwoofer. Is. Look at that. And the bass port. And turn and it. Another speaker. Another speaker. So you've got stereo speakers on the two sides. And bass all coming out of here. 
Bass. Cool. How low can you go? Bass. How low can you go? <laughs> Bass. It's okay. Anyway, that's so. <laughs> Very cool. That's right. Techmaster PEB. Uh, for those here. of you who Well, are, why don't you put that in the box? For those of you who are born of Cali's generation and you don't know what I'm talking about, go to YouTube, go somewhere and find Techmaster PEB. -E -E and one other. If that's not enough bass for you. We got more. We got more for we you. We will bring the bass now, okay? Because we have this new system from SVS Sound Revolution. These are the primes. That this is a five is speaker. That's right. This yeah. is a five speaker setup. We're not gonna open all of these, but I want you to be aware that what we have are five speakers to do a 5.1 surround sound, and we have one big old subwoofer right down here. Nice. Which we will take a look at in a moment. Wow, that's heavy. That's why, what is the trick? Yeah, they're solid, okay? They are. They're that solid. That is impressive. So we turn it over and lift, lift with your back, not with <laughs> your knees. Okay. Okay, we've got two in here. You get one and I get one? Yeah, I think so. Why not? Huh? They look solid. They are. They are. They're heavy. They they're are very really, heavy. Really heavy. <sighs> Let's see here. I love it when they wrap the speakers in a nice uh, clothy yes. kind of... Oh. Th it's, it's a it protects them. Yeah, like a dryer it sheet. It is. Them. It's like a dryer sheet, but it's like a cloth. Woo! Oh, look at yes. that glossy black. That is why, because these suckers are like piano Ow. glossy wow. black. That is incredible. Yeah, those are going in your office. <laughs> right, yeah. We're going to put these Do in my office. Do you even smell that? It has like a new Sorry, speaker smell. Yes, it does. It smells like a new speaker. So what do we have here? Well, we well, have, first of all, Callie's showing you the back. We have a, uh, the plus and minus connectors, banana. the positive and negative, but they are banana connectors. So you're like a banana connector. Yes, a banana connector. You can do one of the things, you, two things. You can either twist them and then shove a cable up in a hole and then twist it tight. Or if you have the right kind of cables, you just plug them right into the positive and negative terminals there. Then you also have a little hanger hook here and then you have a base kind of vent port here. Let's take a look at the front because it has removable screens, which are always nice. All right, there you go. There you go. So it looks like we've got, I'm gonna guess, I'm guessing that's about a one and a half inch, maybe a one and a half inch tweeter. And I'm guessing that's maybe about a three inch, roughly three inch, maybe four inch. I can't tell, we'll give you the full specs on it later when we do a you, review. You can't, you didn't, you got the laser eye surgery and you can't even yep. uh, see measurements either. Yeah, I'm pissed because I got that laser eye surgery like a month ago and I have yet to be able to shoot lasers out of my eyes. And you so can't measure things with your eyes. You can't that measure them with the laser stinks. function either. So it's just like not <laughs> working out for me yet. So. That uh, is cool. But Look at I'm not laser. done yet. Oh, okay. Because I have got to see this subwoofer. Okay, let's see it's the subwoofer. The, it's the SB1000. Uh-oh, uh -oh. be careful. Woo. Yeah, the SB1000. Nice. In piano gloss black. I love these quickies. I know, they are awesome. I mean, that works better than the knife. It does. I hate to say it. It works better than the works knife. Works better than the knife. So this cool. subwoofer, this is important. Yeah, we need to sharpen them. This subwoofer weighs 26.7 pounds. Wow. That means it has plenty oh. of magnetic goodness. We get goodness. to use the quickies again. Well, first we get to turn it over. We yes, get to we do, do our trick. I mean, you get to you, right? And we will. I'm trying we'll without moving. Over. He's like 45 now. <laughs> He's only 44. Oh, okay. Uh. Uh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Always keep your box. These speakers, these speakers, they're nice. And so if you ever need to transport them, somewhere you want to put them back in the box to take yep. care of them you know indeed, what i mean indeed indeed so we will i suppose yes i, know, can, I can barely reach it quickie <laughs> like, ah, quickie I need to be wearing heels okay now we will do our turning it over trick one more time is this a rush 
<laughs> yes, it's like holy cow, like those Russian. But you know what? Half the fun of this, half the fun of it is getting something new and exciting. Yep. But the other half, the fun is just the whole unboxing oh, there you go. process. Wow. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna let you put it over there. Oh, there we go. There, we are finally getting into our special subby oh, this goodness. Is nice. Oh, I can smell the new super fumes. It does. It smells <laughs> it like. It does smell like a, I, people are making like, fun of me in the chat room, Paul. It smells like fresh, like beautiful paint or something. <laughs> Wow, look how just mirror glossy black that is. So first Those thing is, so yes, yes, you will have to, you, we should be wearing the gloves because yes, I'm just be. getting it all just messed up. But let's take a look at our controls back here, shall we? Okay, so we've got a switch that's either on or auto slash standby. I like that because when you turn on auto, if you turn off your audio system, the subwoofer will also turn itself off. Mm -hmm. And then we've got our line level inputs, and it even has speaker level inputs. So that means if you have a receiver that's not made necessarily to interface with subwoofers, you could come from the speaker outputs straight into this thing right here. So, and then pass that uh, on to your other speakers. Yeah, or split them off or something like that. We've got power. We've got a low pass filter. So it goes from 50 to 160 hertz. That means that we would stop uh, sending uh, the frequencies to it at this particular setting. So you might set it to like 100, 120 hertz, and uh, then it will only play the things below that. And then we have a phase adjustment. So if you wanted to use um, you know, multiple speakers that might be canceling each other out in the same room, then you can adjust the phase. And then we have a volume adjustment. So nice. Let's turn it around. I do like that the edges are rounded. Yeah, it's, a, a, nice it's a nice touch. nice little design. And let's take a look what happens let's when we off. pull the old grill off the front. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's a big old sub. That is big. It's, a, it's some kind of nice. Oh, you hear that? Yep. It's like a plasticky kind of, uh, not, it's not plastic, but it's some kind of heavy duty. Is that one ducted? Nylony, plasticky thing with a big a rubber surround. Uh, no port on the back. No Was there one on the bottom? It doesn't have to. No so it's a sealed. It's a sealed yeah. sub. So I actually like those better because they sound really tight. Yeah. You know. So we're gonna get these things hooked up. I will tell you this: this entire speaker system is under a grand. Wow. So I don't know how it sounds yet. This is just our yeah. unboxing of it on the show. Uh, I'm looking forward to taking these out there, plugging them in, and using some Tech Master PEB. Indeed. Yeah, we'll see just how fast we can blow that. That's right. So <laughs> we'll, maybe we'll break it in a little uh, bit first. Maybe a little country break music. Break in, not break. Right. We'll break it in on a little uh, like she thinks my tractor's sexy uh, before we give them the Tech Master PEB. Yeah. So. Thanks for hanging out, you guys, oh, God, for the live show this week. Please save me. Please save me from this. I know this, it was a weird one. This, uh, this crew here. We're glad to have you every each and every <laughs> yes. week. Yes. So. We love hanging out with you guys. Thank you guys in the chat room for the live show online, for joining us each and every week, uh, even when we're late. And uh, and you can follow us. Go to YouTube.com forward slash GeekBeatTV. Go to Twitter.com forward slash GeekBeatTV. Go to Facebook.com forward slash GeekBeatTV. TV. I think it's Google Plus. Go uh, to google.com oh, yeah. forward slash plus Goo geek, beat. geek beat. Yeah, that's the only one. And geek beat. thumbs up. <laughs> Two if you guys. got them bye, on, on TV. Just wave goodbye. On TV. <laughs> Just give it. Okay, goodbye. bye. guys john has to go like now because he's very late already so we're gonna send him on his merry way and let him enjoy his nieces and family in houston these look good maybe i should take these to houston and like pump kirk, up the volume kirk with my kirk, kirk with my like three-year-old nieces and stuff kirk would love that but you, here's here's the deal john imagine how the teletubbies here's would sound on these the things. deal if you do that you have to dance with your nieces, no, and I want video not proof. Do it. Not gonna do it. Come on.
That's heavy, people. Take the TriCaster in. You can live stream it. Huh? That is heavy. Yeah, right. Oh, I didn't get my Bam Bam in. Yikes. Don't watch it. Watch it. These speakers are delicate. Where, where are you going to put those speakers? We're going to hook them up uh, probably in the front room to, tech, to, to, to give them a try with, like, the Sony system or something up there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it would actually fit, you know, down there, so we can give it a try. <laughs> All right. Well, let's, uh, let's go. <laughs> nice. Everybody else has to. Everything is temporary, this is temporary. For, this, for, this, for this testing period. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your weekend. And do something fun, guys. Yeah, do, do something, something fun. Do something different this weekend. What kind of different things should they do? I don't know. Well, it depends on what they normally do on a weekend. Just something different. Okay. Remember, do a garage sale. Just Get ready for winter. start shooting yourself with 22 caliber <laughs> rounds so that you can build up an immunity oh to larger God. bullets later. Yeah. later. Please never come Get back to haunt now. us. That way, all you on do that. Is them later. That's I, right, I really yeah. hope that that doesn't come back to haunt us one Lady time. Lady A has a funeral tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not the kind of different I meant. Why are you throwing a funeral? <laughs> <laughs> That's really sensitive there, John. Lady, no, a, Lady A has a very good sense of humor. I'm sorry you have to go to a funeral. That sucks. That sucks. We have also had a passing in the family as well. So Yes. Uh, that is never good. Never good. Well, I <sighs> hope that uh, you're able to celebrate the life uh, of whoever passed. Yeah. And, or uh, celebrate the death of whoever passed. Whatever it takes. <laughs> Whatever. You never know what kind of person it was. <laughs> so just hold the... <laughs> Okay. Bam! She'll be celebrating mine. <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks, I'm gonna guys. Head out. Yes. Bye. Thanks for sticking sticking around. Yeah, we'll the see you later.